So when we talk about long waiting time, it's actually long waiting time. We can see different uh, angles, lah. Yeah. One is of course uh, in hospitals, like like uh, waiting time for in ED especially, yeah, uh, uh, emergency department. Uh, in the uh, uh, clinic, clinic pakar or the specialist clinic, there's also long queue for, for diagnosis, diagnostic measures, long queue for treatment, you know, uh, and uh, long waiting time to go to wards, you know, uh, so those are the things. So I think uh, when, when, I, when, when I came in, so this is, this is also a pressing issue, uh, you know, uh, and it becomes a, <laughs> a, a, a national concern uh, under staff. But at that time, I think uh, we do some surveys. Actually, there are already surveys being done. So I look at the surveys. What are what are the from the surveys? One, uh, if we talk about congestions of ED, Martin, the cause of congestion of ED uh, occurs especially after five o'clock. Many patients come after five o'clock, and set about fifty to seventy percent of them are B forty group. You know, and another thing is that. Um, uh, they are from the B, uh, B40s, okay, one, and they come after 5 o'clock. Why, why is it so? B40 group, because they have to work in the morning, earn their living. So only after 5 o'clock, when they finish their work, they can come over, either they, for, for themselves or for their uh, parents or for their children or for their wives, you know, they come over after 5. And when they come over, we find out actually they are actually coming for not, uh, I mean, they, they come, most of them are actually acute simple cases like cough, Fever, abdominal pain, maybe diarrhea. You know, small, small, upony, luca, something like that. You know, so um, then at that time we were thinking that perhaps we have to decant our patients from ED to to somewhere else. Where where are they? That somewhere else is actually we have KKs as I said earlier. Okay? One of the our fraternity, uh, our our facilities are actually at clinic level. So, but clinic normally work work until 5 o'clock because they, they don't have hospitals in what in, in what patients and, 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 and what not so um, so that's why we we come up with a standard hours uh, um, program so for example uh, we identify 10 most uh, congested hospitals like uh, we have in Klang Valley like Ampang uh, Heshta you know, Klang uh, and then we have in, in Ipo, you know, several others, uh, Joe Baru and whatnot. So ten of them as as project rentis or pilot project. So we have we do we do this uh, standard hours, and it proved that we reduced down a few first few weeks that reduced down up to fifty four percent of the congestions. You see, so um, uh, of course uh, uh, with that also, I think we can also not also to burden our. Uh, clinic, uh, uh, the public health clinic. So I came up with this idea because we have also fraternities which are the public sectors. We have 12,000, almost 12,000 um, private clinics throughout the whole country. So why don't we get them on board as well? So this is where I came up with this idea of SPM, Skin Perubatan Madani. Yeah? So to decant our patients, the B40 groups, yeah? so we come up the, with SPM and we decant uh, these patients to the private uh, clinic private uh, our, our uh, private clinic lah, you know because private clinic they can see all these uh, uh, green cases kan? Uh, acute simple acute cases okay another thing uh, what we did was actually uh, we also get on board uh, when i talk about the chronic diseases uh, or the, uh, the 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 disease that that need special attention from the specialist so this is where we also put, and learning from pandemic actually, because when during pandemic we put everyone on board, you know the private sector, the NGO, the people, everyone wanted to just get out from these uh, pandemic uh, issues of pandemic COVID nineteen. So we learn from there. So we put also hospitals on board. So we outsource our uh, outsource the services. For example, if patient needs, for example, um, MRI. So it's a long queue, you know. So we have our uh, private hospital that have the same facilities. So we can have negotiations with them, with reduce. I mean, they can. They are actually ready and open to that. Negotiate the price. Of course, private hospitals they have, you know, keuntungan uh, is one of the 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 So they are ready. So we actually put them on the outsourcing of the services as well as treatment. 
and uh, so this is where I think we can also reduce the congestion of hospitals by doing this and uh, this proposal actually or this idea actually has been that we, we presented that to MOF and they, they accept that that's why I mean like next day we're giving we, we, we have about I think 200 million for, for our South senior programs yeah. so if we were to make a protection for when this might be widely implemented widely it depends on budget it really depends on budget but uh, currently we are doing engagement with lots of private hospitals you know, a few of us not a few of our private hospitals but even private hospitals they have you know their 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 group kan? so they, they are they are very keen on this they don't want to to do to be on board and i think another thing of course to reduce congestion is the digitalization i believe in digitalizations you know so uh, actually as you know we have my uh, we also have our facilities already on digitalizations you know but how to reduce congestions in digitization we know that digitalization i put in two like one is of course the system another one is of course the devices high technology devices eh? yeah so digitalization can really help much of many of our problems uh, current problems or issues in the hospitals you know that like for example as you say waiting time eh? we already had this my sejahtera we came up with the with this uh, um, appointment what you call uh, online appointment yeah so on online appointment it, it actually we, that can be done via my theater we already now having 35000 appointment in a day in a day so many public already know so they don't have to come queue long queue but just come over to to take treatment or a seen doctor by maybe half an hour or an hour before and they can finish up their their this thing their their treatment up to their diagnosis and what not within hours only yeah so this is an innovations that we do, uh, and of course digitalization. As I said, uh, we reduce not, not only reduce down the burden of the uh, workers by the, uh, high technology devices, but as well that for example we had one um, uh, recently. I went down to Johor Bahru. We had in pathology lab uh, an automated machine. You know, so automated machines that we don't have to get people to get the uh, own the, the the result. You know. Uh, uh, to the lab and get the result back to the uh, to the ward or whatnot or to the ED or whatnot so they just have I mean it is just with the system you know, automated and everything has been done for in, 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 in a short uh, period then the result can automatically go to the um, uh, particular uh, doctors or particular uh, specialists to look uh, up and to look through uh, those are the thing I think uh, perhaps uh, again uh, we also have one system what we call uh, um, um, apa tu, um, clinic clinic uh, whereby we, we do consultations via uh, videos you know so uh, I can't remember uh, these, these are the things that we already did you know so like chronic patients uh, chronic cases like all hypertension patients diabetic patients they don't have to come to clinics to get it you know so they can just uh, you know uh, have, have consultations via via uh, video video call with a doc, particular doctor, so, oh, so we have that. Oh, so. Where is this being tried out? Is, it, it, is, it has been uh, using, now we have more than 300 clinics already on board, yeah. I think more now, coming more and more, yeah.